Today we are headed to Royal Oak for some West Coast style food and a taste of something new. Have you ever had a sushi burrito? I can't say that I have, but I'm inclined to try it. Michelle Oliver is going to show us what it's all about as she takes us to Dine in the D at Yuzu Sushi Company. Many of us enjoy sushi, but have you ever seen it served like this? So these are sushi burritos. They're about three times the size of your average sushi roll. They're about 14 ounces, so one sushi burrito mm. is a pretty nice meal. Meet Mario Goichai, the owner of Yuzu Sushi Company. I always wanted to own my own restaurant, and I did a lot of traveling. Um, I was a huge sushi fan when I was out in California a couple years ago. I ran across the whole poke and sushi burrito concept. Um, tried a bunch of them, kind of fell in love with the whole idea. Uh, we didn't have any of those in Michigan, so I wanted to be the first one to bring it here. So he opened Yuzu in early 2016, with their main items being the sushi burritos and poke bowls. So poke is a really traditional Hawaiian dish. Usually it's just cubed up tuna, salmon, it could be shrimp, octopus, tossed with a certain sauce and put over rice. Uh, we serve ours with rice and it comes on top of romaine lettuce, so it's pretty traditional. Every dish is customizable and many can be made gluten free. There are also vegan and vegetarian options as well. So we have raw tuna, raw salmon, uh, really nice AAA grade. We also have steamed shrimp, we have shrimp tempura, we have a couple of chicken dishes, uh, we have some tofu dishes. Everything's really fresh and tasty and you can see all of the ingredients. Today we're going to make one of their most popular dishes, the spicy tuna sushi burrito. <laughs> So what do we do first? You're gonna take your nori, which is just a sheet of seaweed, and right. you're gonna put it on your paper, and then we're gonna get a little bit of sesame oil on, on your hand. Okay. Okay. And we'll kind of do this together. So just rub it. This is so when we grab the rice, it doesn't stick to the gloves. So make a ball of rice, like a nice ball that like fits in the palm of your hand. Then we spread the rice onto the nori. Now the rice and sushi is very important. What makes this? different than other types of white rice? Uh, so this is a short grain rice and it's meant to be washed uh, several times before you cook it so that you take away a lot of the starch and at the end result you're really looking for a rice that almost tastes like you have pearls dancing around in your mouth. Next we top it with a scoop of avocado. And then you can use the spoon to kind of smooth it out. All right. Perfect just like that. Oh, just leave it in the middle, That's kinda? it, yep, okay. because when you roll it, everything tends to come outwards. Oh. So having it in the center kind of makes it easier to roll, you'll see. So you're like go. planning steps ahead, I like Definitely. that. Definitely. Now we add some spicy mayo, panko breadcrumbs, cucumbers, and romaine lettuce. Now why lettuce? That's kind of different, most sushi rolls don't have lettuce. Yeah, so the lettuce really just provides like a nice crunch. Um, and a freshness to it. Then comes the vibrant red tuna. You're gonna roll it now. So when All you right. roll it, kind of lift up and get your thumbs underneath the nori and then use your other four fingers to kind of tuck everything in and then just keep going with it. Keep tucking and rolling, tuck and roll, tuck and roll. Finally, we use the bamboo mat to shape the burrito and then we wrap it up. It's a really small joint, so I'm really hands-on here. It's really fun just having your hands sort of in everything and being able to control everything the way that you want it to go. Joining us today in the studio is Mario Goichi, the owner of Yuzu Sushi. Goichi. Goichi. Chai. Yep. Okay, Goichi, <laughs> thank you. The owner of Yuzu Sushi. We were talking about sushi and your love for it and sure. how you came about it, but tell us what you've brought in. Everything looks so good. Okay, so I brought a few examples of our sushi burritos, a couple of our rice bowls, and one of our poke bowls, okay. even a couple of our side items. But uh, over here, this is kind of like the main draw. Uh, these are the sushi burritos, and we go from our Ava, which has shrimp tempura and crab, to our spices, which have, this is a spicy tuna and spicy salmon burrito. Mm -hmm. Then we have some California rolls and a vegetarian burrito over here. Um, we have our poke bowl and a vegetarian rice bowl over here with a couple of our sides, which is seaweed salad and edamame. Tilt that over. This is a poke bowl, yes, right? Yes, that's and our tuna is, poke bowl. And this is the vegetarian. And that's a veggie bowl, yep. So there's something for everyone. Definitely. Don't have to leave anything. We have fish home. options, chicken, vegetarian options, gluten free. You know, a lot of people come in and try to get low carb diet kind of thing, and we could do very light rice or no rice at all. So we have options for everybody. Cool. So we were just talking about sushi and how expensive it can be. Sure. But this is a great bargain. How much are these? So our sushi burritos range anywhere from eight to ten dollars. Um, same thing with our rice bowls and our poke bowls are around $12. $12. Okay, so very. this is a great 
affordable way to enjoy sushi, Definitely. wouldn't you say? So now, is there a trick to eating a sushi burrito? Because I told you I've had these before yeah. and made a mess every time. Well, they're really big. Um, so I guess I'll grab this as our Ava burrito. It's one of our top sellers. But this is how we eat it. So you kind of just unwrap the deli paper on the outside a little mm -hmm. bit, just as if you were eating a regular burrito. You don't want to unwrap the whole thing. And then you just take a bite. And there you go. And kind of hold it together. You don't have to make a mess. It's not that hard. I think my mistake was is I took all the paper off. And Sometimes I was people to try to bite it. the whole thing like. Yeah, no. No, no. You, don't, you, you don't have to do that. It's not like the little tiny pieces. So. <laughs> all right. So what is yuzu? Uh, yuzu is actually a Japanese fruit. Um, we have yuzu dressing, which actually here's the, it's 100% yuzu juice that we get from Japan. Okay. And this goes into like our house dressing. So uh, it's very aromatic. It's very nice. It's very expensive. Um, so this is like a real delicacy in our yuzu dressing, which is in our poke, and also in our sushi burritos. This is what goes into it. So how, what would you compare a yuzu fruit to? Almost like a mix between lemon, lime, and like a grapefruit. Mm, okay. But it's very fragrant. It has like a like a greenery type element to it. Okay. So it's really nice. Cool, learn something new every day. Remind everyone where you're located really quick. Uh, we're just south of 14 Mile on the east side of Woodward. We're in Royal Oak. And if you want to try out Yuzu Sushi Company, we are giving away 20 $20 gift cards to enter. Just go to our Live in the D Facebook page. The contest rules are at clickondetroit.com.